Hi everybody, my name is John Oche Adoi. I'm a student, a young journalist, a research enthusiast, and a writer. And yeah, you can see I'm visually impaired, so yeah, I can put on my glasses so that you guys can be comfortable looking at me. Um, I'm a Prime Business Africa reporter, and we are going to be talking about big news that broken this week. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Yes, Tunubu was talking to his delegate. Well, if you look at it, he was actually talking to we Nigerians, talking about how he brought Buhari into government, how he met Buhari in 2013. He also talked about how he brought Dakwa Biodun into government. Well, Dakwa fired back at him, telling him this is not a family inheritance and stuff like that. But if you look at it, Tunubu claimed that um, he is the godfather of Lagos and stuff like that. Well, Lagos is probably going to slip from his grip very soon, the way he's crying on TV. And you know, the other time, a news broke out that he was um, peeing on his body. I hope that news was fake news, but it wasn't actually. And stuff like that. And it's called Baba Lagbadu, like something like that. I mean, He's not fit to be president, by the way, for someone who is a kingmaker and now he wants to be king. Since when does a kingmaker become a king? He remains a kingmaker. And besides, who makes him the kingmaker? Did he just stand up and say he's a kingmaker? No. Well, he just decided for himself that he's a kingmaker. Well, anything goes in Nigeria, by the way. Nigerian politicians, the carpeting and everything, they're always jumping from one party to the other. Well, it's PDP against APC and Labour Party. Let's see how it goes. And we are still waiting for who's the presidential candidate is going to be for the APC. They're waiting for the PDP, but now the PDP has theirs. Let's see if it's going to be a counterbalance or it's going to straighten out. The East North against the South or North North, South North. Let's see how it's going to be. I mean, talking about the vice presidency and the presidency. And I just hope it's not going to be a Muslim Muslim ticket or a Christian Christian ticket. By the way, it can't be a Christian Christian ticket, by the way. All right, so Atiku is the president, the presidential candidate actually for the People Democratic Party. Let's see who his vice is going to be. He's consulting Wiki, I mean, he's consulting that. He's moving from one house to the other. They are sharing birthday parties and stuff like that. Let's see how it goes, though. I'm still waiting for who the vice presidency is going to be. As we're waiting for the vice president of the PDP, we're also waiting for who the presidential candidate is going to be for the APC. The Labour Party has theirs now. I'm still waiting for other parties. Let's see how it's going to be. This 2023 election is going to be very, very interesting. And I just can't wait for more stories to break out. So let's move to the Starlink and uh, Elon Musk. You know, Elon Musk recently, a news broke out that a lot of uh, Tesla workers are not coming to work. And he's telling them that if you can't work, you should go out, you should leave the company and stuff like that. And it seems as if more Nigerians are going to be affected in that. But let's look at the Starlink, the company that just came to Nigeria now for, N for data services. I mean, the NCC just approved for Starlink to come to Nigeria. And that is a very great news, actually for fast data, I mean, MTN, Airtel, and all that, the, the way they give us data sometimes, they give us data and we can't use it and stuff like that, but let's see how it goes. Let's see if Starlink is going to be better, but the price is what is mind-boggling. I mean, $99, what's that? That's almost 43,000 Naira or more, depending on how much the Naira fluctuates actually, because the Naira is just like Nepal, they fluctuate every day and it rises today, it drops tomorrow. So let's see how it goes though. I just can't wait for Starlink to kick off in Nigeria and let's see the prices and stuff like that. Let's see how much coverage we are going to get. I mean, we have 4G so far. It took 10 years for 4G to get to Nigeria. And so far that 4G has been in Nigeria, it has not really been working that well. Some communities have 4G, some don't. You take your 4G phone to some places and you are seeing 3G. Or sometimes you have 4G, the 4G is not 4G, I mean. Something that should be moving at least a megabyte per second is telling you 100 KB and you probably use data more than you should and, you know, complaint everywhere. Let's say it's going to be better. Maybe Starlink is going to be more better than other networks. Yes, in sports, a news broke out this week. I don't know if it's still a rumor or it has been confirmed, but a news broke out on the, in the media talking about Sadio Mane having a link to Bayern Munich Club and it was said to be 42 million pounds. Well, for me, talking about that story, I don't know if Mane should be going to Bayern Munich now. I mean, he's at the height of his career in Liverpool FC. I mean, he just won the African Nations Cup for Senegal and two trophies in England, the FA Cup and the Carling Cup. I mean, these are huge success. So Mane going to Bayern Munich for 42 million pounds, you know, that's a no-no for me. I just hope 
that's a rumor, and if Bayern Munich wants to buy Sadio Mane, well, that would be good. I hope the price will go, will go higher, actually. And I hope his agent is looking well to sell Mane at a very good price. I mean, that's an African giant as far as I'm concerned. She'll be going for something like 85 million pounds or more. I mean, players in France have been sold for 120 million pounds, and they are busy going to Brazil every week. We are not calling them, actually. Yes, another new broke out in the entertainment scene this week. Sabinus, I mean, a man that went from grass to grace. I mean, he just won the AMVCA for social media comedy recently. And now he's suing Gala and Pilk Milk for using his trademark for their adverts and stuff like that. He sued Pilk Milk for 1 billion naira, yeah, which is very huge as far as I'm concerned, but that's a very nice suing, actually. I mean, if you can't get the 1 billion naira, I can get something close to that from Picnic for using his trademark or his slang, something huge. And yes, he's suing Gala for 100 million naira for using his cartoon, actually for using a cartoon prototype of him for their advert also. I mean, that is a very huge um, claim for him. And if he has proof and he goes to court, probably they might do out of court settlement, but I see something huge coming Sabinus way, actually. So I just hope you have nothing up your sleeves though, because these people might want to sue you also. If, the, if you find out that nothing, actually, they didn't use anything of yours, you are just suing to just to chase cloud and stuff like that. You know how the industry works. So, guys, have been news. You to watch your side, though. Yes, monkeypox again has come out to my people. Monkeypox is around the corner. Another virus, just like Ebola and coronavirus. I mean, we are not done dealing with corona, co coronavirus, COVID-19, and now monkeypox is out. Well, recently, about this month, alone, there have been six cases of monkeypox in the country. I mean, it has spread to other nations around the world and is a huge concern to the global community. So the Ministry of Agriculture, through the Permanent Secretary of the Minister, just put a ban right now on the sale and consumption of bushmeat. I mean, who doesn't love bushmeat? We all love bushmeat in the country. And because of this ban now, this price of bushmeat is going to skyrocket. I mean, something you used to buy probably like one five, like bush rat. I used to buy like one five. My go probably something like 4,000 Naira and stuff. And it's going to be a huge drone on the market. Apart from the market, I mean the consumptions and stuff like that. So there's a huge problem coming for Bushmeat. But at least a good thing, if it is linked with the um, outspread of monkeypox, I mean, it should be banned for a while. Like it should be checked for a while so that the, it doesn't spread like coronavirus. And I mean, we are not done battling with COVID-19. It's still out there, different variants and stuff like that. Monkeypox is coming in. I mean, it's going to be a big, big problem for the country. I mean, look at the economy of the country. The, com the economy is not doing so well. And now we are battling two viruses. I mean, there is still Lassa fever out there. That one has not gone yet. So monkeypox, Lassa fever, and coronavirus. Wow, that's a very bad trio. And it's not going to tell well on the country. So banning bushmeat right now, for me, is a good choice. It's a good call, but man, the market of bushmeat, we are going to suffer because that pepper soup bushmeat, ah, it tells a lot and it's something lovely, but Let's say I go at least Nigeria, let's just hold on for a while and let this monkey paws come and go and we can continue enjoying our bushmeat like we used to do. These are all the stories that I have for you for this week. Thank you for tuning in to this channel, Prime Business Africa channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching and click the notification button and subscribe also. Like and comment on our YouTube channel to help us grow. And my name is John, John Adoe once again and thanks for tuning in.